What's going on everyone? It's Mag1381 or on Instagram I'm known as Kevin underscore Chili. Uh so yeah, y'all can go check me out there. I'll put that link below. Um so I haven't done a collection video in I want to say closer to nine years or so. Uh, I started collecting in 2009 and so this is basically all I've got so far. Roughly 350 models and a diorama that I've been working on for the past couple years. I'm building another section here, which I have did start on. I messed up on the resin pour and had to rip it all out. So I'm hoping in the next couple weeks, I'll be able to really finish that and move on because I've got some pretty cool plans I'm gonna do up here. It's just more of like an extension of this over here. Um, over here, I've got a brand new shop built by a guy named Terry Otley. Um, Oh yeah, I'm not on Facebook anymore, so just thought I'd tell you all that too. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the dio, uh, or the models on the dio. Um, if y'all wanna know anything about how I built any of this, just let me know, write a comment, um, and I'll either make a video or I'll just comment back, kinda tell you how I made it. Um, but yeah, so we'll start here. Um, this is, a, I guess, a T880 with the um, Weiss Brothers drop deck. That's pretty new. Um, I, I'm not going to go through all these construction models because y'all y'all know a lot of these here, um, but I'm I'm not going to go through a lot. So I'm just going to kind of show y'all stuff. Um, it's a sweeper there. That thing's pretty sweet. Um, the dial is all wired in. I've got lights here shining up on the flag flag, and then street lights, and then a shop light. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to have the other side too, um, the new shot that's right there. I'm going to have all that wired into, and I've got some new street lights and stuff like that. So, uh, there's an F-250. That's pretty new to the market. Custom T-800, um, Moffat truck, flatbed. Another dump truck there. 308 is pretty new. Custom dump truck right there. Yeah, there's some Caterpillar skid steers, y'all seen those a million times. This here is pretty rare. I don't know if it's rare, but it's like they don't they don't make them. I did buy it from a guy um, that I know, and it's a I don't even remember the name of it. Um, so maybe I maybe I'll find out and and let y'all know. Um, but they're pretty expensive. A company over in Italy makes them, and you can only order them from Italy. Sorry, you can y'all can hear my dog barking. Um, but yeah, so maybe I'll make a video of that or something. Um, here's the shop. When I was taking the river out, when I messed up, I really moved the table quite a bit, and it knocked some of that stuff over. So I got to get down in there and fix some of that. Um, so I'm gonna come over here. This is a um, uh, my Mammut uh, 1400. It's a pretty sweet model here. Expensive cranes. Um, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna kind of show y'all. Uh, just kind of move through some of this so the video is not terribly long. Got some vans and stuff. Some more F-250s. Trailers. I don't know why it's facing. It needs to be going the other way. Um, oh, these are pretty cool here. Um, this is a. I think that's why I did that because it's one to roll off. This is a uh, custom built dump trailer here. Let me see if I can get it out without tearing everything up. And it dumps and the doors do open. So that's kind of cool. Um, can't find those anywhere. Um, this is an Anson 140 third scale um, and 35, Chevy 3500 dually. I've got two of those. There's another one right there with a custom built gooseneck. So, that Hitachi, these are pretty sweet. I'm not, I'm not gonna pick all this stuff up just cause it's a, kind of a headache. F-250, got chainsaws and stuff in there that were made for me by Osh Oshkosh. Um, it's supposed to be like a, like a yard mule type truck to move log trailers and stuff around. Y'all seen that, TB7000, or TG7000, excuse me. Uh, tug grinder. It's my 
uh, Drake. What is that? A five fifty or five hundred or something like that? Five oh five? I can't remember. Got some stuff over here. It's made by WSI. That one's also made by WSI. I got uh, this keys track screener. I got that from a friend of mine. Um, LTM 1050. You will see pictures of that model shortly on Instagram. Now I'm going to walk around the table. Kind of tie it up. I have to do it this way just because there's not a whole lot of room. This is a brand new model I got here for Christmas. This flatbed trailer. I mean, unbox it or there other pictures. Um, this one I just got. So here's kind of another angle too. Y'all can see all that. Um, this is my Grove um, GRT 8100. It's pretty sweet. Kind of new. This is a custom built trailer and truck. Cinnaboggin 683 is there. I got my HS 855. Oh man, this, this carry deck crane, man. This thing has not been good for business. I'm gonna have to fix that. I love my moot stuff, as y'all can tell. I'm just gonna kind of run through a lot of this here. This model's pretty cool. It did fall off the shelf and I broke it. Um, but, yeah. Everybody knows that G, uh, the Grove RT540E, I've had that model a very long time since like I first started collecting, really. But, yeah. That's the sparings back there. It's pretty sweet. My Potain MD88. Or MDT 88 or something like that. I forget. But it's not even at full. I don't even have it at um, completely built. But it's got the climbing cage and everything with it. Here's my Mammut Super Lift. T Rex Super Lift right here. It's a pretty sweet model. Love it. Yeah, and then I just got some like odds and ends, like a tractor and a bush hog back there. Got another tractor with a finish mower that was custom built for me. I guess I'm gonna just climb up there and kind of show y'all what, what's up top here. Um, these are a lot of my trucks and stuff that I keep up here. And I'm, I'm not gonna run through everything, but there's a custom built log trailer that my buddy built me. And I did have a truck over there, but I'm using it <laughs> for a diorama going to be using it and I've, I've had these models here these two probably the longest that I've ever had really anything some pretty sweet stuff love this trailer here WSI custom built trailer there by Eric Stancil I've got another Eric Stancil trailer right here some stuff back here I'm already at 840 so um, another service truck there and I just got like odds and ends through here let me show y'all I love this model I used to have an orange one of these and I sold the thing that's kind of a new model there someone gave me but I didn't know where to put it so I just threw it back there in the back but y'all seen this stuff before. I didn't get down and move over a little bit. Fuel and lube truck. Y'all probably will see that really soon. On Instagram. I've had these a long time. I had a plan for these and I never... I never used them for anything. MH 3049. Got some plows back there. I've had this model a very long time as well. I can't see that compactor. But I bought this model from a guy, this um, terrain leveler. 
and I didn't realize he cut the rubber off of it for something. It's supposed to have a rubber skirt that goes all the way around it. When I got it, it was like that, and I was like, what the? So, um, so there's a lot of my logging models over here. I'm gonna move this chair. See if I can do this pretty fast here. Without making a mess or anything. A lot of my logging models over here. I heard they were getting ready to come out with a, um, like a double bunk or something like that. I, I can't remember. Not a double bunk, what am I thinking? Um, a, like a bogey skitter, why did I say double bunk? Um, but there's a little log loader that I built a long time ago, trailer mounted log loader. See all this stuff here. Road builder there. This is a very old model that's been around. I have all three Velmet machines. Um, I don't know why they're separated. I really wanted them to be together. There's one, there's one, and then I've got the forwarder right there. They're hard to find. You can't really find them no more. Um, custom built mulcher there by my buddy Keegan. What's up, Keegan? I know I haven't talked to you in a long time. And then this cat, all these three. Man, I love these things, man. You know you have a problem when you buy three of the same model, 775Gs. I got three of them, 5110B, a D10T. Sorry if I'm like, the camera's way too close, you guys. I'm gonna get down and back up here. Now I'm gonna go across this bottom shelf here. So these are all my loaders and stuff, all the big ones anyway. All the Bobcats. These are pretty cool, I haven't. 753s, got two of them. That's a mulcher there for the Bobcat. This was a custom built model I got from a guy, or he put rocks on there, somebody did, it, it's okay. A little generator, that Bomag stuff, hard to find, can't get it no more. But, you know, those New Holland, Models, I man, those things are very nice models. But all my ADTs right here. ADT stands for all terrain dump trucks, by the way, if y'all were wondering. There's a 736 Lee Bear. Just gonna kind of run through this here. Um, now these 963s right here, these are probably my most favorite models that I've ever ever have it, especially this one, because I've, I've had this one a very long time. Um, like, very long time. Already at 13 minutes. There's M318F right there, that's pretty sweet. Let me go back over to this table. Or, on the other side of the table, I mean. All the excavators, y'all can see. I'm just gonna kinda run through here. That case right there. Pretty sweet. I've got a bunch. But my Lee Bear models here on the front because I love Lee Bear stuff. Had this model a very long time, this 320 DL. I've got a 323 DL that's in the back back there that I love. Um, now we're coming along to the paving models. These are all the pavers. Milling machines, slip form pavers in the back. Some of the smaller stuff up here. Rollers, more rollers. <laughs> Love these Oshkosh mixers there. Rock crushers, some concrete pumps there. I've got them all put away. But get down here to the lift section. Got another one of them. I've got two of those now. Where, where's my finger at? I got two of those now. That's kind of the newer version, you know. I only got three material handlers. And here's the list. A loop. And I had plans for those two trucks right there, but it just never happened. Um, 
and we got a little generator there in the back so that that's pretty much it guys that's pretty much my collection i, I i've kind of lost count i know there's probably somewhere around 350 models in here but um you know all right appreciate y'all watching